Hello and welcome back to part 20 of our Let's Play series where we attempt to go from non-league football to winning the Champions League. We're here today with Blythe Spartans again and we've got a big match against a League One outfit, Charlton Athletic. As you can see on the screen, since our last episode, we've only played the three matches. We had a 0-0 draw against Gloucester. We then beat Brackley 3-2. But we have just got dumped out of the FA Trophy in the second round by Witten who are way down the bottom of our league. So this is not an ideal form to be going into the Charlton game with. We're going to have to deal with it though. And we're going to try and deal with it with this lineup. We've got Carney and goal, Fraser, Bellowan, Lawrence and Bird is our back four. Brockwell, Fletcher and McKinnon in midfield. Grattan and Burgess out on the wings with Magia up front. As we can see, Sharif is out of this match due to a suspension. We've obviously still got the injuries to gamble as well. Hopefully this team can go out and get a good showing. I don't really expect us to be going and winning this match. Although it would be nice just purely because of the difference in quality between the two teams. Obviously these guys way up in League One. Us recently relegated be very very difficult for us to get a result here today if you do enjoy the content today though please do drop a like down on the video it's always very very much appreciated and really helps the channel out it will be very very interesting to see what we can do against charlton in other news things that happened in between episodes we did get offered a job interview at coventry city which we did attend they have ended up going with another manager but we are starting to see some of those bigger clubs come in and have a look at us here Given our sort of form and given what we've done with Blythe Spartans, I admit we got relegated last season. But also, we've got to remember when we found this team, they were expected to finish bottom of the league. We ended up getting promoted that season. And yeah, we got relegated, but it was such a big step up for the team that that was kind of to be expected. And it looks like we've given away a penalty here in the eighth minute against Charlton. Lawrence apparently pushing charlie kirk there it didn't really look like there was a lot in it but enough in it to give the penalty away washington gonna set up to take this one. Oh, oh, it's a lifeline for us he's absolutely bombed that into the stands the live support which i believe this is our guys here they look like they would be there in green just catching the ball they're gonna keep that one that's um an interesting penalty to say the least that's reminiscent of sean reed's a few episodes back of for our team um if you haven't ever seen that one go have a look for the episode it's entitled the worst penalty ever question mark and it was absolutely atrocious but that one pretty similar in all honesty charlton definitely the team on top here i think maybe a positive mentality not the one to go with here that's a fantastic save by carney though i think maybe we just drop back to a cautious mentality and encourage the team before this corner comes in we are going to see this corner now i aren't going to make anything we have managed to clear that one just about dealt with it but yeah as to be expected charlton fully on top in this match and i kind of think that um that's probably quite reasonable given the stature of charlton it's another highlight with charlton edging our area here with a throw in they've not really done a lot with it we've kind of cleared it but it's been swung back into the box and washington here gonna get his goal he's not gonna get his goal oh he's having an absolute shocker i mean he's having a shocker it's not his fault necessarily but he's missed the penalty and now had a goal disallowed this guy i mean we have to kind of feel for him it works in our favor so i don't feel for him too much i'm quite glad about it but equally oh mate um, i'm sorry is all i'm gonna say to that sam burr's just got injured that's less than ideal though i mean we're gonna have to bring on brown sword who's the only one who can kind of play on that right hand side obviously a central defender by trade but he's gonna have to play there in that right back position today because <laughs> we've got no one else to go there sharif would normally be our either first option or at least the guy on the bench but with his suspension we're left a little bit short in that area we've not had a shot yet though that's a bit i mean up oh, i say that we've just had a shot it's all good i was about to say it's a bit concerning we've had a shot now we've actually got a free kick gratton into the box better one 
Oh, that was really, really close. I thought we were going to nick one there and then just hold out until the end. That'd be fine. If we score a goal there, I think it's probably all 11 players just camping out in our area. Don't let Charlton through. It's not park the bus at that point. It's park the tank and then a tank in front of that one. Because no way at that point are we letting Charlton through. We've just got to set up camp. But we're still both going to be searching for our first goal here. You'd hope as well this sort of run, it's, you know, the FA Cup second round. It's not great, but they are a bigger side than us. Washington finally getting his goal. It's been a while coming. You've got to give him that one. It's pretty much almost identical to that uh, second goal that was disallowed. A second goal, first goal, but, you know, he had the penalty as well. But it was pretty much identical to that one in that um, he's at that back post and it's just been swung in. And now, oh, oh, yeah, now the floodgates have opened. The floodgates have opened, ladies and gentlemen. And now I think that is going to be it for us, to be honest, already. We demand more from the team. Yeah, it's just another free kick. We're not doing very well with our set pieces here. From open play, we're actually being all right from set pieces not so much and i think maybe now we kind of need to just make those substitutions and focus on the league already make that one bringing on McHugh there for fletcher just to save fletcher's legs a little bit because he's all important in this side this season bratton's just got a yellow card as well he's got a six rating mm, tasty burgess has got a 6.1 no one's playing particularly well lawrence has got a 6.1 as well it's all gone a little bit wrong after that first goal. And I guess now we just make that third and final substitution. We'll bring on Burrell instead of Magia up front. Give him a little bit of a run out. And uh, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunately, we haven't come and given a better display. But you would think with a um, Sky Bet League One team, they would think at least we get some money out of this tie and help the finances of the club a little bit. Ball over here to Burgess, back to Brownsword, into the box. McHugh not doing enough there really the referees got in the way thank you referees ref has basically stopped the counter attack there I'm telling you that bribery that we did that little little briefcase of cash it does work in our favor occasionally maybe we need to return to giving out more briefcases full of cash to our referees now we're back in the Vanarama North and get those referees on side as well McKinnon here to Burgess Burgess to McHugh Burrell, <gasps> we've pulled one back. Oh, the comeback's on. The comeback's on. We have actually pulled one back. I thought it was all over. That was a bit of a scruffy goal, to be fair. Burgess into McKinnon there. Back to Burgess. Burrell's kind of run on, and it's kind of got to him. He has got a foot to it. At that height, you think he'd go for a header. I feel like at this point, we just need to demand more and go attacking, and I hope that that's the best thing to do. We've got sort of five, six minutes left. If we could go and get one final attack, you never know what could happen. I think that's probably now Charlton are going to be sat back defending that goal lead and it does look like that's going to be the case really unfortunate there because we had a little bit of a lifeline at least our fans who have traveled up to charlton or down to charlton geography really really not my strong point absolutely not my strong point at least they've seen a goal though so it's given them something to cheer about youthful blithe come unstuck i guess we are quite a young team as we're going to see as well we are still top of the league two points clear of boston united who are in second so now it is all going to be with us out of both cups full focus on the league and we're going to do that in our next match which is against chorley so we are using pretty much the same side for that match against Chorley. Carney in goal, back four, Fraser, Bedouin, Lawrence, Sharif coming on in on that right-hand side because Sam Bird is now injured for three to six weeks. Great stuff. Brookwell, Fletcher, McKinnon in midfield, Grattan and Burgess on the wings for Magia up front. And hopefully we can see some better performances in this match against Chorley. And like I said, we've got full attention now on the league. The only way for us to go up, in my opinion, is by actually going up as champions. I don't want to see any of this horrible playoff malarkey again. It's always a bit of a lottery. This is the thing. And I believe I said it when we did go up as um, playoff winners in all my time of playing football match. And that is actually the first time I've ever won the playoffs. Now, more often than not, we go up as champion if we're playing with a lower league side. But I don't really want the lottery, uh, the lottery 
sort of of the playoffs Fletcher here has just put a goal past Chorley within sort of six minutes so yeah if we keep up like this going up as champions not a problem that was a really really good goal that's very reminiscent of a goal we saw earlier against Charlton unfortunately it was for Charlton and not us just that swinging corner to the back post forever's there to nod it home and hopefully um yeah we can see a little bit more of that Gratton there making a little good tackle. He seems to make a lot of tackles for someone who's a more attacking-minded player. I'm not complaining at all. But that pressing he does is fantastic. Magia's through on goal here. Magia through on goal, puts it wide. Oh, that looked destined for the back of the net. Instead of that, it's wide out to the right of the post. Yeah, we'd hope he'd put that one away. Uh, not today, though, as it seems. But it's fine. We're still 1-0 up. If we're having a look as well, if you have a look down here at the league table, our goal difference compared to other teams in this league is pretty obscene, really. 28 goal difference for us. Boston United are in second, have a goal difference of plus 14 and Gloucester plus 16. So we're way, way ahead of the average here. And we are coming up to half time, been by far the better team, 64% possession for us. We have been asked to play possession football by the board, so they're bound to be happy with that one. We just really want the team to go out and do more of the same. In an ideal world, if we grab a couple more goals, I'd be very, very happy with that because one goal leads, as we know, lead to late goals conceded and three points turning into one or sometimes even no points at all. Fraser here out on the left for us. Really confusing because that looks like the right to me. That confuses me when we're playing this end of the pitch. It's a it's a simple... I'm a simple person, guys. You know, the, the pitch turning round at half time, proper confusing for me. McKinnon out to Fraser on the left, back to Fraser again. Nice one-two played there. Fraser swinging it into the box to Burgess. I think that might be one of our own players getting away. Magia to Burgess again. Burgess putting that one away for his 10th goal of the season. I think he might have scored more than Magia now. I'm not entirely certain of that fact. But I think league-wise, he might actually be our top scorer. And this from a player who is still desperately asking to leave the side. He almost scored the first time there of his header. Magia has managed to get it, cut it back to him to just sort of sweep home. It was a nice sweeping shot there. Precision at its finest. I think Burgess is someone that might very likely end up leaving though. Because if he keeps playing like this and scoring goals, you've got to imagine that teams will come in for him. With that said, Burgess is going to be coming off here for Richie Holzler. Didn't mean to actually click him. Never mind. It's all gone wrong. Making us substitutions become very difficult. Richie Holzler is going to be changed to a winger on that right-hand side, though. Maji is having a decent game. All of these guys are doing pretty well. Brookwell is probably the one we take off. Then we'll bring on Brown Sword again. Just a sort of fitness substitution there. We don't want to push anyone too hard and end up losing them for the season because we haven't got the best squad depth in the world. It's decent, it's better, and I'm much happier with it than I have been with recent squads that we've had. Um, I'm thinking of the likes of Nottingham Forest when we got there in our previous save. This squad depth was... I, I don't want to say it was bad. I want to say it was non-existent. There was no squad depth at all. Big forward ball forward to Magia here. Magia has just swept that one home for his 10th goal of the season. So yeah, Burgess was officially there up until this point. Highest scorer for the club. Magia putting himself back on equal terms. He's not having any of that. He wants to be the top scorer in this club. And Magia looks very much like if he keeps up this, he'll be having a fantastic goal tally this season. Five minutes left though, and we are 3-0 up against Chorley. You've got to think that's job done now. We'll put us four points clear at the top of the league as well. Can't really complain about that too much. For outstretch our arms, tell everyone they did a good job. Give them all a nice pat on the head. Have a quick look at the league table. Oh, actually, okay, so Boston United have got a, uh, a game in hand, so they could potentially come back within three points. But as it stands, we're five points clear at the top of the league. And again, can't really complain about that. Just having a quick check on the club vision then, so you guys can get a feel of how we're doing. They want us to play high tempo pressing football and possession football. That We're doing that pretty well, working within their age budget. They did want us to be competitive in the FA Trophy. 
and they're rightly annoyed because we weren't competitive at all fa cup no second round yep happy with that and they want us to reach the playoffs and at the moment we're going to get promoted as champions so we are doing pretty good job at Bly spartan so far and now we've got to continue and just go on and do some more of that and go up as champions hopefully it will just remain like that for the rest of the season and we're not going to get any late season wobbles like we have in the past if you have enjoyed today's episode though please do drop a big like down on the video really really helps out and is always much appreciated and if you haven't already in the new around here why not subscribe to the channel we've got this let's play four times a week as well as videos going up with tutorials and tips to help you out on fm22 if you can't wait until thursday for more content no why not have a look at this video next